Hi, my name is Dr. Rajesh Shah. I'm a director of Life Force, where we treat patients of vitiligo from all across the world. I'm going to talk to you about the causes of vitiligo. Well, to be very honest, we do not know the exact cause for vitiligo. However, there, is, uh, there are several theories and hypotheses, and there is growing awareness about the cause of vitiligo. Some of the theories include uh, autoimmune nature of vitiligo. The autoimmune theory says that some of the cells in the body they start fighting against themselves, which is which leads to uh, destruction or a removal of melanin pigment, which leads in turn to loss of pigment or what is called as a patch of vitiligo. They found certain neuropeptides which are responsible as a part of autoimmune process behind vitiligo. Another theory is about the genetic ideas. In fact, there has been a, a, a gene called NLP1. This gene has been found and identified in many cases of vitiligo. However, it is not the fact that all cases of vitiligo will have this gene pre predominant. Other ideas, other causes include hormonal co-association. Uh, we have found at life source that large number of patients, especially females, they have another autoimmune disease associated with vitiligo such as underactive thyroid or hypothyroid. Many patients have either past or current history of one of the associated uh, autoimmune diseases or especially a family history of one of the autoimmune diseases. We also that the patients who have extensive vitiligo in particular or those who have vitiligo affecting both the sides of the body or bilaterally symmetrical vitiligo, invariably they have somebody in the family having one or more of autoimmune diseases such as either vitiligo or alopecia areata or underactive thyroid or diabetes or cancer or aplastic anemia. This is a very common observation. I believe that without having some strong genetic link, it is very hard for any patient to develop extensive vitiligo or vitiligo which affects both the sides of the body. Without a family history, we observe that patients may have vitiligo, especially when they have vitiligo due to chemicals or exposure to certain chemicals, such as certain phenol compounds. There is also a neural theory, there is also an allergic theory. In the allergic uh, kind of vitiligo, usually we observe some kind of itching on the skin prior to development of a patch of vitiligo. So these are all in all some of the major causes of vitiligo. We found that in many patients, so in most of the patients, they have more than one cause uh, behind the development of vitiligo. It may be a mix of uh, genetic factors with hormonal imbalance, with stress as a trigger, or exposure to certain chemicals or intake of certain drugs as a trigger for developing vitiligo. So vitiligo that way is largely an autoimmune disease. That's what that's how we can uh, consider this disease. And the treatment of vitiligo has to be accordingly. Uh, based on the kind of the affection, the kind of cause in the background. We try to treat vitiligo by trying to identify identify the exact cause whether possible and treat it accordingly. When we are not able to identify the exact cause, then there are general measures of addressing vitiligo and we can treat it accordingly. Thank you so much.